caught in the cruel web of the transatlantic slave trade. Agents John Cooper and Thomas Spaulding heartlessly bought 75 Igbo individuals, treating them like mere commodities, each sold for a tiny sum of $100. These poor souls were destined for a life of forced labor on the plantations of St. Simon's Island. The Igbo slaves were packed tightly under the deck of a small ship called the Schooner York, embarking on a dangerous journey to the island. Little did their captors know that a momentous rebellion was brewing. During the journey from Nigeria to Georgia, the Igbo people made the most difficult decision of their lives. They knew they would be enslaved for their entire life. If they ran, they would still be captured. Therefore, they had to think about something which could free them. The enslaved Igbo people rose together, determined to break free from their oppressor's grip. In an act of bravery, they took control of the ship, overpowering their captors and sending them plunging into the sea.